Hi everyone, welcome to the Fitball introduction. Now, Fitball is also known as a Swiss ball or an exercise ball. Fitball itself is actually a brand name. It was one of the first uh, big brands to come out in the fitness industry and hence why it's kind of become a little bit of a generic name as well. When you're choosing a fit ball to use for exercise, you want to make sure that it's suitable for your body height and length. The first thing you need to make sure of is that you're able to sit on the ball with a bend in your legs of at least 90 degrees. If the ball's too high, the angle of your legs is going to be down, and if it's too low, you're going to be sitting up like so. You need to be able to sit on the ball with a nice neutral pelvis, long spine, and your legs sitting comfortably. So how do we use a fit ball? Well, there's a couple of different ways we can use it. One, we use it as resistance or a weight or a focus. Two, we utilize it for stability or balance work. So let's start with some exercises that can warm you up aerobically. Exercise one. Have a little bit of fun with bouncing. Now, you can get your legs into this, keep the shoulders down, have a bit of fun with it. We can add on here too, by getting some alternate bounces happening. Do hand-eye coordination, timing. You can go double bounces. We can add on some movements around our back to get more movement going through our spine. Four, three, two, one. cardio-based or warm-up exercise to heaven and earth. We do this in a lot of the classes. We just want to take a slightly wider stance. Make sure you're keeping your spine nice and long and core connected. Down and up. One, two, three, shoulders connected. Four, five, use those glutes. Six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and ten. Let's do our third little warm up exercise. For this one, we're going to keep our feet out in that wide position. Really important to keep your spine long here because we're going to be moving from one side to the other. If you feel like you need to shift your feet, you can. What I'm going to do is a bit of a rotation. Hand on the hip, rotate and stretch. Just feel how far I can go, keeping my core connected and without hunching. And the other side. And we can actually start speeding this up. You can reach as far as you want. You can reach forward a little bit more with it. Depends on how it feels through your body and your spine. Keep it small or making nice big movements. The 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Walk it in. So let's have a look now at seated movements. Your bowl is gonna go for a wander sometimes. Oh, there it goes. So, we wanna make sure whenever we're sitting down that we do keep our hand on that ball, okay? Don't want it rolling away from us and plonking down on the floor. So the first 
first thing we want to do is get our bearings and our stability and awareness of where we are in space and also get those little muscles on that need to support us in other exercises. We're going to start with some pelvic tucks. Tilting and releasing. So little scoops. So you'll notice that the ball moves back and forward too. This is important for initiation for whenever we want to roll down on the ball. Really good low level core work as well. And if you've got anything that you need to release in your back, it can be quite soothing. For four, three, two, one. Now we can also move side to side there. So let me just shift myself around so you can see from an angle. So we can rock side to side here as well. Just to tease open the hips. Once again, we're still thinking about balance. Notice my head stays in the same position and my body is moving underneath. So it's as if my head's suspended, my spine is doing the work like a pendulum. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back to the center. Our next preparatory exercise are circles. So we want to think of those little Polynesian circles that go around and scoop. So I'm working in all the directions now in a nice circle. This is another one that's excellent for the lower back. And we have a guest artist here right now. Three, two, and one. Let's go the other direction. For 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. To just ease that out, have a little stretch for it. And hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Ease it up. So from this position, I can do some additional stretches and preparations, especially for the obliques. So from here, all I'm going to do is lean to one side and reach, and the other. I'm going to let my body have a little rock and roll on that ball, but I'm going to stay stable through my lower body. For four, four, three, three, two, two, and one. And one. Come back to center, walk those feet in. The next exercise we do works on some balance to make sure that you feel stable on the ball. Best way to start is to hold on gently. We're going to start with single heel lifts, alternate. Breathing, keeping that core connected and the spine long. For six, five, four, three, two, one. If you feel okay with that, we can start with a single leg lift. It's going to feel a little wobbly, so we really need to think about that pelvis and rib cage connection. Breathing out each time. Five, 
Now, if you feel good with that, you can take the arms out to the side. You've just given yourself a really nice low level core exercise as well as some quad work. The next foundation movement that we need to make sure that we've got is our walk down or roll down on the wall. If you need to stabilize, you can hold as you go, but there will be a point where you need to let go. So from here, you need to walk your bum down. Now, if you're on a mat, the ball won't slide, so trust it. From here, I've got my back here, just like a little bean bag. Feels quite comfortable. We do some of the exercises from here. To come down a little further, you can drop it down. Now, my head is gonna be in contact with this ball soon, so I'm gonna lift up my bottom, and this is my position for doing any of my upper body work. Now, to get back up, first thing I want you to do, drop the tail and curl through your center. Walk your feet back and push through your abdominal wall and the legs until you're in a seated position. You can practice this movement very, very small to start and then get bigger as you go. We're gonna do five walk downs now just for today for practice. Just work within your own range of motion. I'm gonna keep my hands to my center. And you might find that ball tends to walk backwards a little bit here, so feel free to adjust, which I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Lucky last. So let's go now to some foundation movements for using the ball on the floor. We're going to start off with our modified plank here. The ball creates instability, so your shoulders shoulder girdle, lats, all those stabilizing muscles have to work a little harder. From here, I like to keep my hands almost in a prayer position to save me falling and trying to grip. So from here, I roll out, and I'm just gonna keep, make sure you're not sinking, press the whole forearm into the ball. So just out to here is fine. So practicing from here, to here, here, to here. Now make sure you don't sink through that back. Ribcage pelvis connection and connection through the shoulders and the lats. Now I'm going to hold this position now. Holding the 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we can have a nice stretch out, pressing forward. And roll up, cat curl. And again, sink. And curl. Do two more here. And one more. So 
So now I'm going to go down to the floor, supine position. I'm going to pop my feet up on the ball. My legs are going to be quite straight with my feet on top of the ball. We're going to do some bridging here. This is another base level exercise, but it takes a little while to get used to if you haven't done a lot of ball work. You want to take the hands down by the sides. Really push the whole arm into the floor here. Your core is going to be working and so are your glutes. Also hamstrings. If you've got knees that tend to hyperextend, try to keep a little bit of a bend in them. The hamstrings will work harder, but probably something that you might need a little more strength in. So from here, we're going to lift and lower. And two and lower. Three and lower. Four and lower. Five, we're going to hold it up for a count of ten, balancing for five. Four, three, two, and one. Take it down. As a little test to see how you're feeling, you can try raising one arm up at a time in this position as well. So coming up, and see if you can raise an arm. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and take it down. Nice little release exercise now. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To release the spine, knees on top. And you can take those arms out to the side. Have a little roll here. challenging fitness routines. <laughs> 